guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you this makeup look. This simple bronzy eye. Um, two colors that I really like to lay together. It's just really easy, really simple. I put a quick, um, well I say quick, but I put a little cat eye on it and I put some lashes on and then this really pretty lipstick that I actually forgot I have and it's, um, Anna by NARS. So, I absolutely loved it, love it, and I hope you guys love it too. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. Bye guys. So right here I'm just taking Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser and I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. And next I'm going to go in with KDB Cosmetics. Mineral Magic Foundation in the colors G300 and G400 and I'm just going to mix them together. This is my favorite foundation. I've said it probably a hundred times. Um, it's just so smooth and just gives such an airbrush look. Um, but I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend it all over my skin. going in with NYX Mineral Stick Foundation in the color Caramel and I'm just going to cream contour my face and then blend it out. And because I'm out of my NARS Radiant Concealer, I'm actually going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige and I'm just going to um, conceal and highlight those areas. And then I'm of course going to go over it with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20, I believe. Okay, so right here I'm just going to take that damp beauty blender and I'm going to press in all of the light colored concealer and just blend it in very well. And then I'm going to go in with a stippling brush and I'm going to press in the cream contour. Um, the bristles actually started to come out and just leave, leave little black hairs all over my face so I switched to the beauty blender but the key I think is to press in this product except right here on your chin you want to blend that out very very well um, but in this cream contour right here you want to just press it into the skin because you don't want it to move everywhere you just want it to stay in place Right here I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer. I'm going to take a wedge sponge and the Laura Mercier eye brightening powder and I'm just going to do what you call baking and allow my concealer to set. That way it does not crease too much. And then I'm going to go in with the same sponge and the air spun translucent powder and I'm going to set my contour up underneath and just kind of clean it up and set that bottom foundation. So then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm taking my KDB Cosmetics eye pencil. Um, it wasn't sharpened so I couldn't do that great of a job so I go back in with my Smashbox powder right here and I just kind of fill in a little bit more and then I'm going to take the brows now by Hard Candy you can get this at Walmart and I'm kind of scared of the like um, brow gel fiber stuff so I only use like a tiny bit but I actually really like it so um, yeah, I'll link it below so you can see what I'm talking about. And 
right here, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lids with the Shadow Queen by KDB Cosmetics. And this is just going to help my eyeshadow have something to cling to and keep it on longer and keep it from creasing. And right here I'm just going to take the eyeshadow shade in Vanilla with a MAC 224 and I'm just going to highlight underneath my crease and kind of set that um, eyeshadow base that we put on earlier. And then I'm going to take a Sigma E25 brush and this kind of taupe color, I'm not sure what it's called, it's from KDB though, I'll list it below. And I'm just going to buff this into my crease and just create that transition shade for the next shade that we apply. Then I'm going to go in and take this color bronze by MAC and I'm just going to place this on my lid very lightly, um, packing on the color but not spreading it out too much because you don't want to go too high with it. And then we are going to go back in with that blending brush and just take the taupe color that we already had, I'm not going to add any more to it, and we're just going to buff out that um, line, that way it's not harsh and it's equally blended. going to take Flower Cosmetics Liquid Liner and just kind of create a small cat eye. Um, this takes so much practice for me because I never really do a cat eye but I'm starting to get more into it. So if you have a liquid liner that you love, um, please list it down below because I would love to find a new one. Here I'm just taking a little bit of mascara and applying it to my real lashes and this part actually cut out but you will see on the next clip that I do have my lashes on but my camera died so that's all that you missed though. And for my favorite powder, oh, I love this so much, the Baked Mineral Powder in Light. I also like medium but light's all I had. If you have not checked this out, you have to check this out. This powder is awesome and just makes you look so airbrushed. And I'm going to go in with my NARS Laguna Bronzer and I'm just going to create a contour. This is actually the um, 3 4 inch um, oval mop brush. Um, it's actually from Hobby Lobby. It's a paint brush and I really, really like it for contouring. Um, I switch out on brushes that I use but I really like that one and here I'm just going to contour my nose and then I'm going to uh, go in and dust a little bit of a pretty um, bronzing powder this is give me sun by Mac you know this is one of my favorites I use it all the time in my videos and this is just going to warm up my face and um, you know just get that pretty glow and then I want to go in and just clean up that contour a little bit more so I'm going to add a little bit more of that airspun translucent powder and just let that sit for a few minutes and I'm going to take my NYX liner in mauve and it actually breaks on me you'll see my sad face in just a second but I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips and fill them in a little bit And for this beautiful color lipstick I was so excited about, 
I um, forgot that I had it because that's what happens when you start to hoard makeup. <laughs> but this is the NARS um, lipstick in Anna and it's just so pretty. It's like the perfect mauve color and it just has a little bit of purple and it's just, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it really ties in my colors all together. Um, definitely a beautiful color. After dusting away that baking powder, I'm going to go in with the color Rouge and Salmon. These are the mineral blushes by QDB Cosmetics and I'm just going to dust them onto my cheeks and the apples on my cheeks. And then I'm going to go back, oh, woo, hair flip. That's glamorous, right? <laughs> All that powder was making me sneeze. Um, okay, so we're just gonna take a pencil brush and go in with that bronze color, and I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes and smoke it out a little bit. I just wanna go in and dust away any powders and take a big fluffy brush and kinda blend a little bit. That way there's no really harsh, harsh lines with my contour or my blush. And then I'm going to go in and just add a little bit of mascara to my bottom lashes. I also tight lined um, when I was putting my lashes on. Um, and then we're going to take champagne pop and we are going to pop that onto our cheeks. I feel like you have to say pop when you say champagne pop. <laughs> Anyways, I think this is so gorgeous. It has that gold, you know, pigment to it. So it's just really, really pretty. Okay, let me know what you think of this makeup look and what makeup look you would love to see next. And I would love to do it for you guys. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.